Hi, Brent Hole with The Build Show. We are in Oak Park, Illinois, outside of Chicago. This is Frank Lloyd Wright land, okay? So this is actually his first house and where his studio started, okay? So his house was really a typical Queen Anne style house, and he did this entrance and this top to it. We're gonna walk down this street and we're gonna see how radical and different his houses were and what he was doing architecturally in this city. So come join me, this will be a fun little tour. This was his first commission, official commission, after he left the firm of uh, Sullivan and Adler, okay? Louis Sullivan, who's an incredible architect and an influencer, you can actually see in this house. So this is a Tudor Revival house from the 1890s that uh, Frank Lloyd Wright helped remodel, okay? Now, if you look closely in a bunch of these details, if you know about Louis Sullivan, you'll you know that he had incredible decoration and detailing in his buildings. And you see on this building a bunch of that detailing and influence taking place. You see it around the windows, around the timbering. You see it around this uh, this Gothic style window and the fretwork and the, the design work below that. The little balls on the wall there all have this beautiful uh, arts and crafts, revival, Beaux-Arts, kind of all crazy influences and details on this house. But this is where it starts to write. This is where, you know, his early influence. And, and look, if you look directly across the street, or don't look yet, <laughs> you go across the street, you're going to see how his, how his designs change. 1893, 1902, okay? So let's look across the street and see how this changes. Whoa! Right? Incredible change and incredible um, kind of evolution of what he was trying to do here. So one of the other things that we talked about, right, is being so radical. Remember, this is 1902. Okay, come here. Th this is what's typical in that period, right? These are the kind of houses that are being built. And look what Wright's doing, right? <laughs> the difference between his long linear approaches, right, and that, right, shows how modern he was, right? It shows why he's so appreciated today as a modern architect because uh, he was doing things that were really pushing the envelope, right? He's doing things that influenced the ranch style houses, you know, 30, 40, 50 years later. We looked at this house, we looked at this, these details from across the street, saw this Tudor Revival house in 1893, now 10 years later, how his styles have evolved, right? These long linear lines, right? This alternating between the, the different colored brick, how they how they stretch out this house. See a lot of the same details with the right. See this wall that kind of sticks up and creates privacy. We see the plants growing over the edge. We see a long linear wall that blocks the garden. Um, and, and notice his row of windows. Everything's about this linear feel and linear look. It's really a beautiful house. It's really a wonderful detail that we'll see more of down the street. So why am I why am I in Chicago? Right. Um, I've got a quick business trip, but the, the what I want you budding and growing master builders to do is learn about architecture in other regions, learn about house styles, learn about architecture and design, right? So we had, you know, 20 minutes, right? You can drive down this street and you can immediately see which houses are his and which houses aren't, right? This is clearly one of his houses, right? You see the long linear approach, the sleeping porches, the deep overhangs, right? The cool features on this house. Yet, if we just did a spin around in this neighborhood, or even look at this house right next to it, right? The, the nature of what he's doing. You're not gonna confuse what Wright was doing with anybody else, right? Look at the next house, right? This Victorian, the late Victorian house, this ornamentation and detail that you would see in the plan books. Wright was so ahead of his time, so, you know, hip, right? Uh, it's just fun to see, right? And so you should be seeing these houses and look, you can go take the walking tours, you can, you can do the audio tours, the Unitarian Church is right down there, it's fantastic. But there is great things to see here in this city that should inspire, should encourage, should uh, you know, help you with design and architecture and building.